We're beginning this morning lying down on the back, knees bent, hands resting on the belly. Feel the muscles relax and the bones settle towards the earth. It's really allowing yourself to drop into that support that you feel beneath you. Feel the gentle rise and fall of the breath beneath your hands. Initially just letting it come and go on its own. And when you feel the breath relax, then begin to lengthen it a little bit. And you might start to feel a gentle rocking forwards and back through the pelvis, which is lovely. So go with that the natural movement of your pelvis is that as we breathe in, it rocks forwards, it might be very subtle, but we're going to make it bigger, just letting it rock forwards a little more. And as we breathe out, rock it on back. Let's do this one more time. Just feel how you are right now at this point in your day. And take the arms out a little away from the sides of the body. Take one more breath in. And on the out breath, keeping the feet apart, the knees bent, drop the legs over to the left. We're doing this windscreen wiper twist. So you might roll your head the opposite direction and then breathe in, roll everything back to the center. And then on the out breath, over the other way. Let's do that one more time to each side. Keeping the eyes closed, just flow with your breath. Let it come back to the middle and we'll drop the knees over to the left one more time. This time we're going to stay there, lift the left foot and put it on the outside of the right leg, just kind of low, like near the knee, offering a little bit of weight to the right leg. Good. Now breathe in, keeping your foot there. Come back to the middle, sole of the right foot on the ground. We're going to breathe out and drop the legs over to the right. So this is kind of a big hip opener for the left hip. As we drop the legs over to the right, try to keep that left knee pointing upwards. And maybe the sole of the left foot will settle on the earth, but it might not. It might be hovering. That's okay too. Let's take a breath in and just listen into that left hip. Breathing out, send the knee high. Relax into it, let go of the resistance here. And then bring it on back to the middle. And draw the right foot off the earth and bring your hands in around the back of your right leg, thread the needle. So again, we're opening that same left hip. Take a breath in. And as we breathe out, just ease the right leg in a little bit deeper elbow perhaps against the left leg here encouraging that opening in the hip now release the left leg off the right keep holding on to the right leg lift the left foot up to the sky circle your foot waking up your ankle and your foot here and then go around the other way that's it so just keep it going here breathing into that movement perfect nice take one more breath here Letting the foot flow the other direction if you like, or just switching it up. And then we're going to extend the leg away down the mat. So keep the right leg into you. Good. And let the left leg stretch out long. Perfect. Take one more breath, giving that right leg a little squeeze into the body. Good. Now bring the two feet to the earth again, bend the knees. Take a breath in and then we'll drop the legs on over to the right. So it's the windscreen wiper twist to the right, lift the right foot, put it on the outside of the left leg and just let it hang down heavy here. Breathe in, where do you feel this effect in your body? As you breathe out, allow that part of you to relax down and let go. A 
bring it back to the middle as you breathe in. We're keeping the same shape with the legs. Breathe out, let the legs go to the left, the sole of the right foot aiming for the ground, the knee up. This might feel a little different here on this leg. How is this hip, your right hip? Breathe in. Long breath out through the mouth or nose, perhaps that ujjayi sound in your throat, like you're fogging a window. End of the breath, let's bring it back to the middle, breathing in. And as we breathe out, we'll lift the left foot off the earth and link the hands in around the back of the left leg, thread the needle, breathing in through the nose. And if you feel that ujjayi sound in the throat here, go with it. Breathing out through the nose or mouth, easing the left leg in a little closer to the body. Keep holding the left leg, slip the right leg off up to the sky, stretch it up, circle your foot. Good. And just keep your breath flowing. Great. Slow motion. Can you feel the little clicks and pops in your toes or ankle? Keep switching direction. It's really mobilizing into the joint, right down to the toes. Good. And then stretch the leg away, off down your mat. Good. Drawing the left leg in deeply. Give it a little squeeze. Nice. We'll bring the right leg in as well. Both legs into the body, little rock side to side. And then cross the ankles, hold the back of your knees, roll yourself up right up to sitting, cross the legs, simple cross leg, and then just bow forwards, flex your toes towards each other as you bow over the legs. We're gonna stay, take a breath here, breathing in, there might be a little bit of a rise on the inhale, that's good, go with it. And as you breathe out through the nose or mouth, drop in deeper and deeper. If the knees are feeling a bit tweaky, put the hands around the knees for support. Breathe in, we bring ourselves up, sitting tall, and then just change the cross of your legs. Bring the other one in front. We're trying to cross the shins if we can, leave a gap between the legs and the hips if possible. Flex the toes towards each other, and then over you go again, into that little seated forward bend. So Ujjayi breath is amazing here. If you can feel that sound in your throat, imagine you're sending the spray of that breath into your hips and lower back. A long exhale through the mouth or nose. And through the mouth can be good here as we relax the jaw. We're more inclined to relax the hips. And now breathing, rising, back up to sitting. Right, come on over to all fours. Just start to circle the hips a little bit, just once or twice around in each direction, shifting the weight of the pelvis forwards back and to the sides, round the other way, and maybe even making it a figure eight. Just bringing a little freedom to the base of the spine and into the hips. Then breathing into in this into cow pose, lifting the head and the tailbone. Breathing out, round the back, tuck the tailbone, bow the head, cat pose. Feel this from the lower back, rippling through the whole spine. So as we breathe in, lift the tailbone first. Feel the pelvis tilt and let the spine follow right through to the head. As we breathe out, begin with the pelvis again, tucking the tailbone and let that feed through the spine into the head. One more time, initiate the movement from the pelvis, lifting the tailbone, slow motion, feel the spine follow. Then breathing out either child's pose or tuck the toes in downward dog. So it's really your choice. If you want to come back into child's pose with the toes tucked under, that'll work too. Breathing here. Feel the ground beneath you, whatever is in contact with the earth. Firm that foundation, relax the neck and the head and draw a breath in through your nose. 
Letting it go through the mouth or nose. And start to move the hands down the mat towards you. Whether you're in child's pose or downward dog or in a meet, on our feet, slide the hands over the feet, up onto the shins, Ardha Uttanasana. And as we slide the hands down again for Uttanasana, send them around the back of the legs, back of the ankles, back of the heels. Stay here in Uttanasana, really pushing down with the hands into the heels. Stay here, take a breath, elbows in against the legs. And let the head relax, let go with your neck, firming your foundations here with your hands, rooting the feet. Let go, bend the knees, breathe in, uncurl all the way to standing. Even the arms down by your sides, just breathe out and let the shoulders come back and down, sending the fingers towards the earth. Good, breathe in, let the lower belly draw in a little bit, keep the tailbone heavy, rooting down. <clears throat> As you breathe out, feel the shoulders drop, the arms drop, and that sense of connection to the earth. Good, breathe in, open the arms wide, all the way up to the sky, we'll join at the top, and then draw them down the midline. As we widen our stance, turn the toes out, come down towards a little squat, lean in, go easy. Listen to your body, your squat. We're taking about three breaths with each exhalation, just kind of letting that ease on down a little deeper. So as you breathe in, you let it rise, you let it do your thing, swaying, lifting high as you like, really. And then breathing out, firm feet, hips descending, good, opening through the heart. Let's do it one more time. So it can be a big or small lift as we inhale, and then a longer exhale, feet firm, hips opening, releasing here. Lovely, everyone. Bring it on out to downward dog or child's pose if that's better for you this morning. So downward dog can be a bit hard on the shoulders if there's any issues there. Take a breath in, long breath out. So bringing your feet together in downward dog, we're going to let the right leg lift to the sky. So if you're in child's pose, you can just stay in child's pose. Forget this extension. Bring the foot forwards between the hands as you breathe out. So do that gently from child's pose if that's where you are. And bring the back knee down. A little low lunge. Let's take a breath in this lunge. Keeping the fingertips down on the ground. Good. Keep the hips low. Breathing out. Just soften down into it. Nice. Now we're going to take this foot across the mat towards the left, wiggle it over, sit down onto the right hip, a right angle with the front leg, drag the back leg in a bit, make a right angle there as well. Now twist to the right, left hand on the right knee, right fingertips on the ground behind you. Breathe in, lift up through the heart and breathe out, twist around. Take one more breath. And bring it on back to the middle. And we're gonna draw this front heel down a little bit, closing the angle of that knee slightly. Stretch the back leg back more. And see if you can gently come over more to the front of that leg. So if this feels very hard, very inaccessible, bring the foot down more, close that gap more, okay? Roll onto the front of the leg. But if that's just too much, stay on the inside of the leg with the leg a little bit bent. Okay, so you just go where you can go in this pigeon. Give the hips a little rock from side to side. Aiming towards leveling the pelvis. Okay, and then we'll breathe in. We'll sit up really tall, lifting up so you get this lovely stretch through the hip flexor. Breathe out and bow it down. So we're gonna take a breath or two down here on the earth. You can bring the foot higher or lower, head to the earth or resting on the arms. And if you're not quite there on the front of the leg and you're more on the side, you might just be on your forearms here or rest the head into the heels of the hands, that'll work too. Take one more breath. And everybody is different, every hip, is a little different. So what exactly are you feeling here? Breathe into it. 
this is your experience and no one else is feeling exactly. When you're ready on an inhale, come up onto the fingertips, rising up again to that nice high pigeon. Good. Let the shoulders come back and down and give the neck a little freedom here. Lovely. Now sit into that right hip. Drag that left leg in a bit. See, could you sit in the right hip so much you lift the left leg, bring it around in front, hover it, send it back again, keeping it hovering. Not that easy. <laughs> if you need to use your hands, you can. We're going to do it one more time. Leaning into the right hip, letting the left leg hover, bringing it around. This time, keep it around here, hold your foot, give it a little rock. So it's like happy, uh, not happy baby, rock the baby, <laughs> another baby. So you're holding your foot with your right hand, left foot, right hand, that's it. Pull it into you a little bit, send it away, give it a little stir. You can even hook it into the crook of the right elbow. Wrapping the arms around so you're rocking your leg. Good. Now we bring it over, over this leg, foot to the earth. Adjust this foot so it's comfortable against your hip. Now twist to the left, right arm around the leg. And we look over the left shoulder. Good. Feel the roots, the foundation. Breathe out, connecting all of that to the earth, even if it means the whole pose melts. And as we breathe in from those roots, we rise through the spine, lining up and growing taller. And then as we exhale, we have that little bit more space to twist around. And take one more breath here and feel from the roots right up through to the neck to the head, easing any tension that's creeping in there. Now bring it on back to the center. You're gonna go one step further, take this front leg around a little bit more. So you go to the edge of your foot. Now you might have it like that there, just there kind of in front of you. If you can, bring it around a bit more so that the knees stack together. Go Mukasana, hands rest on the feet. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we might see about coming forward. So if we do, we'll bring our fingers in front of us and bow down. Maybe the feet are directly out to the sides away from each other, or maybe the front foot is a little more forwards. And that's okay. We do what we can do and we take one more breath. And as you breathe out and bow a little bit deeper, just feel the connection you have with the ground. Settle everything, the sit bones, lower body. Next inhale, come on up. Good, lean back. Let this left leg, you might want to give a little hand, let it lift. Send it around behind you, right back. Along the mat, we'll come back to our pigeon jaws for a moment. Doesn't matter what the angle of this front knee is, you just want to give that leg a little stretch. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to head back to our hands and knees or downward dog because we're going to take it from here, inhaling forwards to our hands and knees or plank, and then lower it down your way to the earth. Come into locust. Stretching the legs back, the arms back, floating on the tummy here. Breathe out, let the hands come down. Next inhale, either stay right here or let it lift towards cobra or upward dog. Then lifting through the core, come back on the knees or over the feet, downward dog. Settle in here now. Child's pose still an option. Wherever you are, something is in contact with the ground. Feel it. As you exhale, let it firm. Let's take our feet together. In downward dog, we're going to lift the left leg. If you're in child's pose, just stay 
And as we exhale, we're gonna let that leg come on through and bring the back knee to the earth into a low lunge for a moment. Good. So just take a moment to let the hips descend. Good. Now we walk this foot over towards the right side of the mat, just wiggling it over. Sit down into the left hip, creating a right angle with the left leg. Slide the back leg forward enough that it also becomes a right angle and then twist to the left. So hand against the left knee. This one's called 90-90. It's kind of a variation of mermaid. Both legs are at 90 degrees. We're pivoting to the left, right hand against the left knee. Breathe in and feel that mermaid shape that lift through the front of the body, lovely. And then breathe out, even turning the gaze over the shoulder. Breathe in, come on back to the center. Close the, the angle of this front leg a little bit, draw the heel down. And then we, we see what we can do. Can we extend this back leg back? And you might stay on the left hip and this might be you. This will be enough or rock your hips left or right as you find your pigeon where you're aiming to come to the front of that right leg if you can aiming to level the hips. So you might come into it and then ease out of it a bit then gradually back over. Just be careful of the left knee. This is a hip opener and not a twist for your knee. There's never gonna be a pose that involves the twisting of the knee. Let's take a breath in wherever we are, just lift it on up through the heart. Let the shoulders come back and down, keep the neck free. Good. One more breath in and then we lower it on down. Good, bring the arms to the earth, bring the head to the earth if you can. Find your position, support your head. So that might be on your forearms, it might be on your hands or right down head on the earth. Breathe in through your nose. And let's let the breath go through the mouth with that kind of foggy sound, like you're fogging a mirror. Your mouth is the mirror. And as we do that one more time, can you feel your shoulders soften? Can you empty the weight of the body down a little deeper? Next inhale, let's bring ourselves up slowly to that upright position once more. And then breathe out, be here. Right. Leaning into the left hip now, sitting into it. Bend the back leg a little bit, lift it. Swing it around without your hands if you can, hover. Send it on back. I know it can feel very weird, very awkward if you haven't done it before. Bring it around again and one more time sending it back as far back as you can and then through and as we bring it around we're going to catch hold of the foot with the left hand and give it a rock okay let's go into that rock the baby so both hands could hold the foot if you like giving it must a little stir <laughs> that works quite well good easing the knee or not the knee, the foot into you a little more. If it works to cradle the foot in the crook of the elbow, you could go with that. Cradling the leg with both arms, keeping the foot high and drawing in. And then we'll adjust the bottom leg enough that you can bring your foot over and down for Ardha Matsi Andrasana. This is the twist, the foot flat on the earth. You turn to the right, right hand behind, left arm around the leg. Good. So we're hugging the leg into the body. The left arm wraps around it. Make sure that's your left arm there, unless you choose to twist the other way. So remember, if we're 
pregnant or dealing with any issues in the abdomen, we go the other way. Let's take another breath, feeling the roots rising from there and easing around. Come back to the middle, keep the leg as it is. And we're gonna turn onto the little toe edge of it, move it over a little bit further for Gomukhasana. So this could be it, just on the edge of the foot like that. Or can you bring the foot a little bit closer to the hip, bring it back a bit and work the knees one above the other. I mean, that's where it's meant to go, but I know that doesn't work for every hip. So we do what we can and we can also bring a block in if you like. Maybe the feet pointing out to the sides, we take a breath in. Now you can stay sitting tall or bow it on down, let the hands come forwards. Relax into that ujjayi breath. Definitely allowing the eyes to close, let the neck and shoulders relax. One more breath. Next inhale, we will come up slowly back to that seated position and breathe out. Good. So lean back a little bit, lift this left, uh, right leg, front leg up and send it on back on its own. Can it head on back there? We're going to head towards our pigeon one more time. Hands on the earth. Work your way to the front of the right leg if you can. Nice. Very good. We stay high. So this is like a little back bend here. Lovely counter pose to the lower back after all that forward bending. Then we take it on back to our knees or downward dog. You can choose. Maybe it's child's pose. We're going to come forwards, inhaling to plank or hands and knees. Lower it on down all the way. Bend the knees. Interlace your fingers behind. This isn't for pregnancy, by the way, obviously. <laughs> if you're pregnant, you do your back bend. Might be upward dog if this suits you better. This is modified bow. You're interlacing your fingers behind and rising like a bow. Stay here and breathe out wherever you are, whatever back bend. And then let's take another breath in. Breathing out, lower it down. Get ready to rise through the navel. And back, downward dog or child's pose, stretching it on back. If you've chosen downward dog, just stay for one more breath. Good. Nice, a long exhalation. And at the end of the exhale, drop it on down and into child's pose, head to the earth. And stay where you are, relax your jaw. Next inhale, slide your hands back towards you as you roll your spine up to sit on the heels. And then as we exhale, relax here, feeling the alignment of the spine right to the crown of your head. Good, we're going to come down onto the floor. Nearly there, just unwinding a little bit little spinal twist and then our final relaxation so come to your back draw your knee your right knee into your body keeping the left leg bent if you like you want to keep it gentle or stretch it away and draw the leg over to the left right arm out to the side Stay here, breathing in through the nose and letting it go through the nose or mouth, ujjayi breath. Then draw it on back in, hugging the leg into the body. We'll move into half happy baby. So you could do this with the left leg bent, the foot on the floor, hold the right foot and lift it. 
to a happy baby position. Stay here. Or if you feel drawn to go deeper and you can always try it, you stretch your left leg out long. It definitely intensifies that a little. And then relax. Draw the left leg in, let the right leg stretch away. Give the left knee a little squeeze into the body and then bring it over to your twist. So left arm out to the side, the leg draws over to the right. Now be here with your breath, sending that breath to any part of you where you can feel the release or unwinding here. Now we'll bring it on back to the middle, draw the knee into the body, bending the right leg, put the right foot on the earth, hold the left foot with the left hand, take it to happy baby. So just kind of half happy baby, stay there or let the right leg extend away. Lots of hip releases this morning, really focusing on the lower body and the connection to the earth. Let's bend the knee, draw the right leg in as well, holding both feet, happy baby here now. Little rock, roll on the back. And then drop the feet to the earth, feet together, knees apart, Baddha arms overhead. Breathe out, drop the arms wide, drop the knees towards the earth. And let's take another full round of breath into the belly, rib cage, and chest. Letting it go slowly, follow it all the way out. At the end of the breath, let the knees come up, feet hip width apart. Drop the knees in against each other, broadening the lower back. <clears throat> and bring the hands to rest on the body where you can feel the breath. So you might take a moment with the hands here on the belly or the ribs. And either keep the hands here to keep the awareness on the breath and help it or relax completely. Arms resting on the floor with the palms facing up and stretching out the legs if it feels good for your back. Feet hip width apart, Shavasana. Stay with the feeling of the breath coming and going on its own. And drop your body into the support of the earth. The bones, the muscles, <clears throat> the weight of the body dropping down. Feel the ground beneath you and the contact with the earth. With every breath, feel that contact deepen as you let go into that support. The earth being so big, each of us so small. Trust that you are supported in so many ways. Feel that sense of grounding, of ease. And know that you can let go. And if you have a positive affirmation, 
Repeat it to yourself three times now. Or you might like to repeat to yourself three times. I am grounded. I am supported. I can let go. Become aware of the sounds and energy around you. And feel into your own body. How it is now. So you begin to move fingers and toes. Draw a deeper breath in and stretch into the arms and the legs. Let the knees draw into the body. Give yourself a hug. Then roll to your side or if it's ever easier, you can just roll directly to sitting from your back as we did earlier on. And then come on up to sitting in your own time. As you bring your hands together and find your seat, close the eyes and just get a sense again of this contact with the ground. Feel your sit bones resting, the weight of the legs, the alignment of the spine from those roots. And then listen inside, notice how you feel. Let something come to mind that you feel grateful for. Take a deep breath in now and let the arms open wide and up to the sky. Join the palms at the top and as you breathe out, draw them down, touching the third eye. Keep breathing out as you bring the hands down to touch the heart center. Keep breathing out and let the hands come down to the earth. Namaste. Thank you.